Today we're speaking of something that is a bit uh, old, but for me it's a bit new. It's speaking about Botox and which at which age should we go for doing Botox? Yes, first of all, welcome to the club, my dear. Uh, so, uh, yes, there is very often I hear this question, which age I have to start Botox or filler, am I too young or am I too old? More and more we are talk talking about the Botox and fillers as a prevention, yeah? We are talking about the dynamic wrinkles and sometimes we are just 22 and we have very, very deep line here or very deep uh, lines in the forehead. And when we are smiling, we have lines up to, you know, like the mid of the cheek. So these are dynamic because uh, with the Botox, actually, we are treating not the skin, we are treating the muscle. And muscle is the one who is responsible about those wrinkles. So it means once we are relaxing the muscle, the skin is not moving not uh, following the muscle and we are not having these lines. So when you do the buttocks, you won't be able to frown? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is weird feeling, yeah, but, but with the time you are used to that. And why about the young people as well? Because sometimes we have like the habit to frown or to raise our eyebrows or to squeeze the eyes. We are not controlling it, so we don't feel it. So if we are doing the Botox one time, two times, our brain forgets to frown, yeah? And uh, that's very, very good. So in the future, we are not going to have the wrinkles in the skin. And in the young age, doing that, we are calling it like the baby Botox. So very, very small doses in the muscle. It relaxes the muscle and we are not going to have the wrinkles in the, in the, in the um, uh, later age. There was very nice, actually, the, um, the, they compared two identical twins, two ladies. So one was doing Botox since young years, another one was doing nothing. And you know, actually, the, the difference was very, very... What impressive. is the difference? The one looked like half younger than the one who did nothing. Uh -huh. Yeah, so it's prevention and even the fillers are very good for prevention. What is the difference between fillers and Botox? Why do you do Botox for the forehead and not fillers? Yeah, we can do actually fillers for the forehead as well. Yeah, but if we are talking about those dynamic wrinkles, we can fix them just with the Botox. So Botox is botulinum toxin, which is injected in the muscle if we are treating the wrinkles. And it's just kind of not letting the muscle to contract. And this is the, the, the very, very, you know, like wrong uh, idea that Botox is damaging the muscle. No, it's not damaging. So after you do it one time, if you will stop doing it, the muscle no, will go back to the normal. Sure, you know, because nature created us like that, that we are returning back to what we have. So like in up to six months, it's going back to absolutely. What about the people that say, I want to keep my face natural. I don't want to look artificial and bloated You see, on the it face. depends how we are doing that. You know, it depends how we are doing the Botox, how we are doing the fillers. So, uh, Botox, we can do that we are totally frozen, we don't have any emotions, and we can do it that we have all the, our, like, the emotions. We can smile normally, we can even raise our eyebrows, but we don't have these wrinkles. And the same with the fillers, we can put filler just where it's needed, and in the amount it's needed, not overfilling, you know, because I believe nowadays it's the fashion is gone about the big cheeks, huge lips, long chin, and yeah. So now we are getting back to that. Do you think anytime soon the Botox fashion is going? No, it will never go. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it, it will never go. Even, you know, like Botox use of the Botox is getting uh, wider and wider. So we are using Botox now in the treatment of migraine. We are using now Botox in the treatment of the oily skin and acne. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we are using Botox in the treatment of the scars. Mm. So it's just we are like discovering. The Is new there any downtown downtime? Botox. Downtown. Yeah, downtown, downtown Botox. Botox. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, um, the only thing what I'm telling to my patients the same day we are not going directly to sleep. The same day we are not bending. No hot bathing, no hot compresses on the places where we put it and no massaging. Yeah, and Botox, it's not like direct result. It's starting to hit you like in two, three days and maximum you are reaching in the two weeks. Any headache? Uh, can be. Me, uh, personally, I have usually after the Botox. I don't know why, this is just like when I was young, I didn't have, you know. When I'm more young, <laughs> I'm sometimes having it. <laughs> 
I don't know why, but actually Botox is releasing the tension, usually because of that, especially migraine is the tension.